We are so glad you chose to have your baby at Watauga Medical Center. We hope this virtual tour answers any questions you may have about our facility and what to expect when you come to have your baby. Your first step at Watauga Medical is patient registration. You can enter through the main entrance or the emergency department if the main entrance is closed. It's really important to remember, even if you're sent straight over from Harmony, that you do stop downstairs in patient admissions and we will have a staff member from the birthing center come downstairs and escort you back up to the birthing center. We do request that any person who is waiting for the arrival of the baby who's not literally going to be in mom's room be waiting out in this waiting area and not in the hallways of the birthing center. Our guideline for a mom in labor is that she can have up to three people with her during labor and they do not necessarily have to be the same three people so she can have different people come in and out of her room but when it's time for pushing and the birth of the baby and for at least an hour after the baby is born, only one person is allowed to accompany mom. This is the entrance to the birthing center. In order for anybody to come into the birthing center, they need to know the patient's last name and the patient's room numbers. When they come in, what they'll need to do is hit the buzzer on the wall and the nurse will actually ask the questions about who you're here to see and the room number and then the nurse will actually open the door and allow your visitors to come in. We have nine birthing rooms. We have two um, birthing rooms that do have tubs available for women to labor in. Um, we, do, we do not have a policy in place that allows for women to give birth in the tub, but you are allowed to labor in the tub. And a lot of women find that's a really great method for non-medical um, pain relief. If you think you want a room with a tub, that can be a good thing to ask for when you are downstairs at admissions. And this is an example of uh, one of the birthing rooms. This is actually kind of a medium-sized room. And what happens when patients come in is the first priority for admission is if mom would like to have a room with a tub. The second thing is after that is patients will be admitted to the largest room that's open when you come in to have your baby. A typical length of stay for a mom who has like a great birth, um, a vaginal delivery, um, she can typically go home if her baby is not at all early in 24 hours. If your baby's um, younger than 37 weeks or you have a C-section, that's going to be a mandatory 48 hours here with us and that's from the time that the baby is born. Your nurse um, is pretty much one-on-one -on -one with you throughout the course of your labor. So she is by your side and available as much or as little as you would like her to be when you're in labor um, and for the birth of your baby. And then when it's time for your baby to be born, there'll be an additional nurse who will come in and her job or his will be to just take care of the baby at that point. We encourage rooming in for lots of different reasons. One of the reasons that's a good idea is because there's a lot of evidence that shows that babies that stay with their mothers do better with long-term breastfeeding. So typically we really want babies to stay with parents for 23 out of 24 hours a day. We do have um, pediatricians that are actually hired by the hospital and they do all the baby exams in the rooms now. So as long as mom and baby are medically stable, you all will never have to be separated.
So if the need arose uh, for your baby to be born by cesarean section, our OR um, suite is in the middle of the birthing center, so you don't have to go very far at all um, to have your baby born by C-section. This is our newborn nursery. About the only time we have babies in the nursery is when they're newly born by C-section because most of the babies do stay in the room with their, with their parents. There are a lot of security measures in place to ensure that um, newborns and mothers and families are um, healthy and safe while you're here at Watauga Medical Center. Anyone who works in the birthing center has a pink background on their badge that's unique to us so that's one of the things that you always should be looking for is to make sure that that badge is pink. The second thing is as soon as your baby is born he or she will be getting bracelets put on their wrist and their ankle that has a number on it and it will match mama's ID bracelet and whoever mama's significant other is. There, those numbers should all match and if baby leaves mom's room and comes back for any reason the staff should always be making sure that there's a match of the numbers and we have a yellow rubber um, band that will be put around your baby's ankle and that's their actual infant monitoring system so if that band loses contact with your baby's skin or if it um, uh, gets too close to any of the exits to the birthing center it will set off alarm. If you have any further questions or concerns, please contact us at 828-262-4285.